there, it's Tina from the Scrap and Rabbit blog, and I have another project share for you today. It is day five of the Jaded Blossom February release sneaky peeks, and we are featuring two stamp sets today. So let me go ahead and show you what they are. The first one here is Bunny Mail, and you guys all have to know me by now to know that this is my most favorite set of the release. I was super duper excited about this one and you can totally see why. <laughs> How cute is this? So I love everything about this set and I was very very happy to play around with this one. The second set that we are featuring is the freebie which is the Easter Treat Circles and this one is just perfect for those little treats and you can totally coordinate with this set as well. Happy Easter and Happy Spring and this one says Happy Easter, Happy Spring, Happy Happy Everything. This one says Easter Treats from the Easter Bunny. So these are the two sets being featured today. So let me go ahead and show you what I made. I used both sets on my projects today and so for the first set of goodies I made a the tree toppers and so I thought that they turned out really cute and they were a lot of fun to make so of course this Rick Rack topper die is what we featured on Monday so that is what this is the circle and the f uh, scalloped flower there was a cut off of my Cricut and I cut it at I think 1.9 inches and then stamped these sentiments. I did one of each because I figured I'm going to give this one to my daughter and I give this one to my son. And I decorated with this really cute little bow, which is from the bow dies, which I've used this a ton now because it's definitely one of my favorites. I stamped the sentiment Happy Easter. And then so I did this one in the pink and then I added the little sparkle on the bunny and I did this one in I think it's like glacier blue or something and I used the mini tag dies to this banner right here which is another one of my favorite dies to stamp the sentiments on it and so that is my first project share for you and so the second project that I made it's another treat and I made another topper and so this was the candy that I was able to find before Easter has been let loose on my town <laughs> so how cute of course it had a bunny on it so I couldn't resist and I used a little sparkly flower on there so let me show you what I used I used that Rick Rack Topper die and then I used the Spring Dies 2, Spring Dies 1 version 2. <laughs> Sorry about that. And so I used this flower here and I cut it out with this glittery purple paper. And I cut out the center as well. And then I stamped it with this one right here because these are perfect to go on the back sides of the candies like little kisses. But I went ahead and stamped Easter Bunny Approved and I cut it out with the center circle die. And I put that in there like that. And the leaves are also part of this set. And then the bunny. And so with the bunny, I just added a brown flat back pearl for the eye and a little cotton, uh, cotton ball for the cotton tail. A little pom pom. And so there it is. And so that is my project share for you today using the two new sets, the Bunny Mail and the Easter Treat Circles. I hope that you can uh, tune back in. We have a blog hop this afternoon that begins at 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I hope you can join us and hop along and see all the fabulous Jaded Blossom Design Team projects. And I'm so excited with what I have to share with you for that. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all your wonderful, sweet comments. And I will see you next time in the next video. And happy crafting.
Bye.